Hi everybody, this is Gina from Euphoria Soapworks and I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to line our wooden soap molds. <clears throat> so this is our small mold. Um, it's been used quite a bit. Love this one. This is nice for small batches. And then we have um, our large soap mold, which is about double the size of this one. And it's really easy to disassemble. I should probably show you that really quickly. It has um, two bolts. This one has two bolts. Our large has a third one right here at the base. And all you have to do is screw off the wing nuts. <clears throat> you, you don't have to even do it uh, setting on its side. It just is fine to take them off as it's standing up. Just push the bolts out and the sides come off completely. You can see this one's stained because um, sometimes you have some leaking uh, from your paper liner, but uh, it, it really doesn't matter. It just wipes off and it doesn't affect any future um, soaps that you're creating. Anyway, so it comes apart very easily, so that makes it very nice to um, unmold and it goes back together just as easily. It's got one center hole and it fits right in, screws right on. And the, uh, the large one has the, the center hole is um, down at the base. Obviously it has to be. And um, we recommend taking that uh, wing nut on and off first and then making sure that it is level with the base so that it doesn't make your mold sit funny so that your mold can sit flush. Anyway, on to lining your mold. So for the small one, I recommend getting a piece of freezer paper that is about twice the size approximately of your mold. And for the large mold, probably about one and a half times the size. The reason being is that you need to have some, uh, this is gonna be coming up the sides of your mold. That's what's gonna be lining the side. So you just wanna make sure that you have enough there to come all the way up to the top of your side here. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the shiny side down and center your paper um, so that both sides are even, these sides are even and these sides are even. And then you're just gonna take your fingernail as you're holding this side down flush and you're gonna just create a little line here. And then you're gonna do it with the other side as well. And you're gonna wanna try to get as accurate as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the more accurate you are, the better your mold um, is lined. So once you have that done, <clears throat> we're just gonna fold along those creases. And you're going to want to try to, again, be as accurate as you can. This just helps when you're, let's turn it over and do the other side. This just helps when you're trying to line the inside. The more accurate you can be, the better it fits. Okay. So you can see that I'm going ahead and, and now I'm going to do the short side here. Once I make the first fold, I like to go ahead and then really make sure that that crease is nice and crisp. You want to have a crisp crease so that you can have nice sharp edges on the inside for your soap. Okay, then we're gonna turn it back over so that it's shiny side up. And you're gonna get your scissors out and you're going to cut along 
those creases. I like to cut about a sixteenth of an inch in on the inside seam. That just makes sure that it fits in my mold properly. But uh, you may have a little more leakage that way. It just depends on what you prefer. And this is why it's important to get your creases pretty accurate. So I just cut both sides here. And now I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to cut along the other sides about a sixteenth of an inch or so on the inseam. And I'm only cutting to that uh, long crease. I'm not going past that because this is going to be the base of our mold. Okay, once you've done that, then you're just going to want to take your two middle pieces and hold them. And then we're going to Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this camera to focus here. There we go. Since you've grabbed the two long sides, you're gonna put those together and fit your other side in there. And then you're just gonna Fit that inside your mold. And then you'll do the same with the other side. You can see that it fits in there just fine, snugly. <clears throat> and so now you've created kind of a little box. But you want to take, you're going to want to cut these ends so you can fold them over and tape them. So I just run my scissors down the sides here. Now you can see how easy it is to fold those down. So what I'm going to do is fold down these end pieces and you need to stick your hand in the mold so that it stays put and you're just going to tape the side. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm just taping the side and now I can reach my hand down in there and make sure that it is the, the crease is right into that bottom edge that it needs to be. I don't know if you can see my hand. I'm going to hold this down and make a nice edge here. And then I will tape the side. I like to tape the middle. And the two sides. So now I have nice edge in there and then I will turn it around and do the same thing to the other side <clears throat> and this makes it really easy to unmold as well if you um, don't feel like taking your mold apart you can just untape the sides and lift your soap out straight out of the mold. Uh, so it just depends on what your preference is. And then I like to make sure that I have a nice crease on the inside. And it's just that simple. 
And when I unmold um, the soap, there there's going to be two flaps on the side here, and that's uh, that's okay. I just rip those off on both sides, pull the sides down, and voila, you know, beautiful soap. You'll find a way that works best for you, but I just wanted to share what was really easy for me as far as lining the molds with one piece of paper. That way you don't have to try to cut a bunch of different pieces and fit them in there and tape them down. Anyways, feel free to um, ask questions if you're still confused. I will definitely try to put up some better quality videos as soon as we get some better equipment uh, so that you guys can see a little bit better um, how to do this. And I can even do this uh, very slowly so that you can follow along. But I just wanted to get a quick video up there for you so that you could see how it was done and start soaping with your new mold. Alrighty, thanks and bye for now.